Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another PS5 tutorial. So we now have the Netflix application able to load the jailbreak on the PS5 with the Netflix and hack project. So this can fully jailbreak the console now, just like the YouTube jailbreak. And this is the initial early setup guide here for this particular exploit. Now there is at least one benefit to using this compared to the YouTube application to jailbreak with Y2JB. And that is that if you have a console that does not already have a previous jailbreak that you can use to install the Netflix application, there is at least one method that can allow you to actually install this exploit without having to restore a backup file because restoring backup files does reset your console. So you can kind of avoid that with this method. If you have an M.2 drive, that is one option, but I'm gonna show you all of the different ways to install this here in this video. So, so the first step as usual is to head into the settings and then go down to system and then go to system software, system software, update and settings. Make sure download update files automatically and install update files automatically are both unchecked and then head to console information. Check to make sure you're on a compatible firmware for the jailbreak. You can see I'm on 4.03. So you need to be on a firmware between 4.03 and 9.60 currently to be able to jailbreak your PS5 as it stands right now. That is likely to change very soon, but for now it is 4.03 to 9.60. So your firmware version needs to be within that range and then you'll be able to jailbreak your console. So first things first, we need to get the Netflix application installed. So there are three different ways that we can install this exploit. Two ways if you do not have a jailbroken console already. So the first method, of course, is to restore a backup file, which is the easiest option. So I'll go ahead and show you that first. So if we go to the releases section, we do in fact have a system backup file that you can download. So if you don't mind resetting your console, then this is the way to go. So download that backup file. So again, you want to grab yourself a USB drive that is formatted in XFAT format. Right click on it and go to properties and make sure that the file system is XFAT. If it's not, right click and reformat it in XFAT format. Obviously back up any data on the drive before doing that. And then you can plug it into your PS5 and make a backup of your current PS5 because we're going to be restoring a backup file that will reset the console. So make a backup of your own console first by going into the system settings go to system and then go down to backup and restore and select the backup option and then just select your USB drive. Once it loads, select screenshots and video clips and save data. And then you can also edit what applications you want to back up. And then you can simply create that backup file. So it will restart your PS5, but once the backup file is created, you can then plug that USB drive back into your computer and then simply copy the PS5 folder in there to somewhere on your computer for safekeeping so that you can always restore it in the future if you ever need to access any of the data that was on your console beforehand. So make sure you do that before restoring this backup. But once you have a backup of your own console, we can then delete the PS5 folder from that USB drive. And then we're going to take the Netflix system backup, open the zip file and extract the PS5 folder to the root of your USB. And then once that backup file is copied over, we can plug that USB drive back into the PS5. And then back on the PS5, we're going to go back into the system settings and backup and restore. This time we're going to restore the PS5 using that backup, the Netflix and hack backup. Select that option and let it restore that backup file. Once it's restored and the console reboots, if you head to the media section on the home page, you should see that the Netflix application should now be installed and it should be on either version five or version six of the Netflix application. That's what you want and you are good to go. So that is the general setup there with the backup file. So the second method is that you can actually get the Netflix application installed using an M.2 drive if you have an activated account. And this works on non jailbroken consoles without having to restore a backup file, which would reset your console. So you don't have to reset your console with this method. So let's take a look at how we set this up. So one of your accounts on the PS5 needs to be activated. You can find out by logging out of your PS5 and then hitting the options button on any of your PS5 accounts. And if any of your PS5 accounts show up with the menu to appear online or offline, that means the account is activated. So if you don't have that, then unfortunately this method will not work. But if one of your accounts does have that menu, then it means it is activated and you can proceed. Okay, so one other thing we need to do is head back into the settings and go to the network settings, settings, set up an internet connection and delete any registered networks that you have in your network settings. Just make sure you forget those networks so that 
the console does not automatically try to connect to the internet because we don't want it updating the Netflix application once it's installed. So the way that this method works is that we have a bunch of image files here with the release for different sizes of NVMe drives. So you want to download the file that corresponds to the size of your NVMe drive. So if you have a one terabyte drive, it would be the 1000 gigabyte one. If you have a 500 gig NVMe drive, it would be this one. So I have a one terabyte NVMe drive, so I'm going to select this one. So at this point, we want to extract this over to our desktop. So I'm just gonna copy it over here. And there it is. So 1000 gigabyte Netflix zip file. And we basically just need to write this image to our NVMe drive, which we can do using a program like Belina Etcher. Okay, so now all we need to do is connect the NVMe drive to your computer. You can plug it directly into one of the slots on the motherboard, or you can connect it to the computer using a NVMe to USB enclosure, uh, which is what I'm using. That would be the most convenient thing to use to connect it to the computer. Then we can open up the Belina Etcher software here and go to flash from file and then select the zip file that you downloaded that corresponds to the same size as your NVMe drive. Don't worry about the missing partition label warning, just click continue and then select the target drive as the NVMe drive itself. So my one terabyte NVMe drive that's connected via this USB adapter. And fair warning, before writing this to the drive, make sure you back up any data that's already on that M.2 drive. And then once that's done, we can simply click flash. And we'll say, yes, I'm sure I want to flash this. Yep, that's fine. So we will say yes to do so. So yeah, that's it. Now you just wait for this to flash. Okay, so once it says flash completed, we can close out of the program. It can take a while to flash that onto your SSD, depending on the size of your SSD. So now all you need to do is unplug that M.2 drive and plug it into the PS5, into the M.2 slot inside the PS5 itself. And then once that's connected, we can then start up the PS5 again. Okay, so we're rebooting the PS5 after connecting the NVMe drive back. So we'll go ahead and log in. And if I go to media, okay, it doesn't show up. But if I go into settings and go to storage and then go to M.2, games and applications, we can see Netflix is on here. So I can select it and select items to move and then select it to move it to the internal storage. So we'll move that to the console storage. And then that process of moving it back should make it now available in the media section. And yep, there it is. Netflix applications now available. If I hit options and go to information, we can see it's now installed on version six. So that's a great way that you can actually get the Netflix application installed without having to restore a backup file, which will reset your console. So you're not losing any of your previous save data and settings or installed applications by doing this. Now, once you do move the Netflix application to the internal storage and it's showing up, you want to then reformat that M.2 drive because it's not really gonna work properly the way it is right now. So we're just going to now reformat that M.2 drive and tell it to restart and reformat it so that it can be turned back into a working drive for your PS5. And of course, the easiest install method is for people who already have previous jailbreaks that they can use to install the Netflix application. And you can do this by simply downloading the retail version of either version six or version five of the Netflix application. I'll leave version six in the description that you can download. Copy that to the root of a XFAT or FAT32 formatted USB drive, and then plug that USB drive into your PS5, run your current jailbreak, and then simply install it using the debug settings package installer or the ETA hen package installer. And also you need to make sure that your account is activated. So you need to have an activated account, which on a jailbroken console, you can use ETA hen and then go into the remote play option, which will automatically activate your account if it's not already activated and then it will tell you to reboot the console. So that's all you got to do to get the Netflix application working on your jailbroken console. Okay, so once you have the Netflix application installed, the correct version, five or six, we can then head into our settings menu and set up our network settings. So we're going to go to network settings, set up an internet connection, and then we want to scroll down to the bottom and set up manually. And then from here, we're going to choose whatever you normally use, Wi-Fi or LAN cable. If you use Wi-Fi, you need to make sure you enter manually and then enter manually the SSID of your Wi-Fi network, the security method, which should be WPA in most cases, and then the password. And then you need to set up 
your proxy server settings. In my case, I'm actually using a LAN cable. So I'm just going to select LAN cable here. But what we want to do, whether you're using LAN cable or wireless, is that you want to head to your proxy server and change this to use a proxy. Now we can either set up a local proxy on our computer to run the exploit if you want more control over it. And I will show you that here in a minute. But before we do that, I think the easy way is to just use the publicly available one on the internet that will run the exploit for you. So that's the one I'm going to enter here first of all. So you just want to enter 172.105.156.37. If this address changes in the future, then it will be down in the video description. But that is the address right there for the public proxy network. And then once you enter that, we then want to change the port number to port 42069. So 42069. Again, if that changes, it will be in the video description. And then click done and let it get connected to the network. Now, don't worry about the cannot connect to internet. So that's intentional. That's meant to appear. What we really want to see here is that when we go to system, system software console information, you just want to make sure you have a valid IPv4 address showing up in there, which means you are connected to the network. So at that point, we are good to basically run the exploit here. So we just run the Netflix application on our PS5 and give it some time to load up. It's not like the YouTube jailbreak where as soon as you launch it, it's immediate. It has to load for a little bit before it starts requesting the specific files that get injected by the proxy. So just give it some time to do its thing. And there we go. It is now running. So, oh, unfortunately, exploit failed, reboot and try again. It's a good thing that that actually shows up uh, so that uh, I can demonstrate what happens when the exploit fails. The lapse kernel exploit is not perfectly stable. So every now and then when you try to run it, it can give you that error message that tells you to restart and try again. So that's exactly what you should do. Restart the PS5. Do not try to continue to use it in this state. Restart it. Uh, if the console crashes, just hit the power button twice until it turns back on properly. And once it gets back into the menu, you can then run the Netflix application again and give it another try. Okay, here we go. We're loading it again. This time it says laps finished. Serving the elf loader. Wow, this is incredibly fast actually once it starts loading. And there we go, that's it. So it has loaded the elf loader, which basically means that the jailbreak is running. So if we close the application and now head into our settings, we can see the debug settings are enabled. So we do in fact have the console jailbroken and the elf loader is running in the background, which means you just need to send a payload for it to execute. So there's a couple of different choices for payloads that you can load at the moment. So we've got ETA Hen version 2.3b, the latest release, you can download this. This version only works up to firmware 8.20 right now though. So if you want to use ETA Hen up to 9.60, you need to download the latest test build of version 2.4, which is not released yet, which you can get from the Package Zone Discord server. I'll leave it in the description, I'll link to the Discord. But in there, you go into the Package Zone Discord server into the ETA Hen public test channel and in the pinned section in the top right hand corner it will give you the latest test build that you can download and then you should be able to load that payload up to 9.60 but this public version only works up to 8.20 for now unless 2.4 is released by the time you're watching this so that's one option the other option is to just download K stuff instead uh, which works all the way up to 9.60 here with the latest release so you know, it's up to you which payload you want to load there. But in my case, I'm going to load ETA Hen version 2.3b. So because I'm on an older firmware than 8.20 right now. So all we need to do is use a payload injector like Netcat GUI here. I'll open up this program and then just grab the payload that you want to load and drag it into the software and then enter 9021 as the port number. Enter the PS5's IP address, which I believe was 192.168.137.96 for my console and you've got the payload added and you just click inject payload. And when we inject the payload here, it should be received on the console and it should start trying to execute it. Sometimes there can also be issues loading ETA Hen where it might crash while trying to load ETA Hen. But if that loads successfully like it did here, then that means you are jailbroken. So let's head over to our settings, scroll down and we have the ETA Hen toolbox up and running and the console is now effectively jailbroken. Now, if you don't like the idea of relying on a public server in order for the exploits to work on your console, then you can set up the 
man in the middle proxy server yourself on one of your own local machines like your computer. So I'll quickly go over that. So all you need to do is go to the code for the project Netflix and hack and download it as a zip file and extract that zip over to your computer. And then we can go into that folder here and we want to right click in this folder and open in terminal. And then once we do that, we can type in Python and press enter. If that runs Python, then you're good. If it opens up the Microsoft store, then you don't have Python installed. So you just need to install it from the Microsoft store. So just get and install it. And then we can exit this with exit, open and close brackets. With Python installed, you can then type in pip install man in the middle proxy. So MITM proxy and press enter and that will install it. Once it's installed, you can then run it by typing in MITM proxy dash s proxy dot py. It needs to be in this folder with the Netflix and hack uh, folder here that contains that file proxy.py and then you just press enter and that starts running the proxy. You'll probably get a prompt to allow access on your firewall so just allow access. We also need to edit the inject elf loader automated script so just edit that with notepad on your computer and change the IP address at the top to your computer's IP address otherwise it will not run correctly so make sure you enter that there in that script. And at that point, if we switch back over to our PS5 here, we can go to network settings, settings, set up an internet connection. And when you're setting up the network connection on your PS5, instead of using the public proxy, you just enter the IP address of your computer in the host box, the address box, instead of the IP address of the public server and change the port number to 8080 and click done and then click OK. The update blocker is also included in this proxy. So you don't have to worry about system updates when you're running it. So now we can launch the Netflix application and it should run the same way it did when we were using the public server. But this time it is running locally on your own device. So you have more control over it. So you don't have to worry about, you know, the server changing or something like that. We give it a few seconds. You can see it starts running just as it did with the public version. So that is how you get the exploit up and running by either hosting it locally or by just using the publicly available server. And that means, of course, that you can now install and run your PS4 and PS5 games and homebrew applications. PS4 applications can be installed via a USB drive. You just copy the package files, the fake package files for any PS4 games, DLC or updates to the root of a USB drive. For PS5 games, you need to create an ETA hen folder in the root of that USB drive. ETA in lowercase and HEN in uppercase. And then inside that you create a games folder in lowercase characters. And then inside that you copy your game dumps for the PS5, which are just the extracted game files inside a folder. And you copy those application folders to that location on your USB drive in the games folder. And at that point, if you go back onto the PS5, you can use the package installer in the ETA HEN toolbox to install your PS4 applications. Like in this case, Resident Evil 4 Remake with the DLC and the update and that will get them installed and they'll then be playable on the home screen and you can launch your PS4 applications as long as you're running ETA Hen or K stuff on the console it will allow you to load those fake packages for your PS4 games and that's how you get PS4 applications running on a jailbroken PS5 and then as for the PS5 games you just go back into the ETA Hen toolbox with the USB drive plugged in and you can head down to the webman games section and in there it will list the games that are on the USB drive like the one that we copied over there for Hogwarts Legacy in this case and I can launch it from there and that's how you launch your PS5 applications. So obviously huge thanks to the developers behind this project. We have the main developers who I believe are Earth Onion and Cow-AR. We also have UFM42 and some other contributors like Jester and also Garado RDZ91. And of course, Gejine for the lapse kernel exploit implementation. You can head on over to their GitHub pages and sponsor them if you want to support their work. So that is the basics on how to set up the Netflix and hack exploit to use the Netflix application to jailbreak your console. So anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.